Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, big red Mack truck. So the Mack truck had a red scheme and was nicknamed Big Red, but then later on Evil Knievel had his widely known red truck painted white in preparation for the uh, world tour. So here's another shot of the uh, Big Red truck on the side there and here's the uh, white paint scheme for the uh, world tour so look how nice that looks just a and this is how they found the truck back in 2013 in Clearwater Florida and as you can see the truck needed quite a bit of restoration done the paints all faded it's missing in headlight and everything so you could just kind of see the engine exposed and everything so what they did was they, so they ended up transporting the truck from Clearwater to New Jersey to have everything redone back to its original splendor. Here's all the rotted uh, metal on the roof, as you can see there from the arrow. So they had to do a ton of restoration. Here it is on the truck being shipped to get restored. And that was back in 2013. So um, I actually caught this on one of the uh, history channels. They had a thing about shipping in. Here's where he, this is the inside of the uh, truck trailer. This is where he used to store his uh, bikes when he uh, traveled uh, throughout the country and world. And here's the side with the original uh, white paint scheme. And there it is in the side with the red paint scheme. Just a comparison there. And then here's my favorite. It, it, it advertises the Evil Knievel toys by Ideal. That's really cool. And the AMF bikes too, which later on AMF also acquired Harley Davidson. So how neat is that? <laughs> so every detail and decal of this truck tells the story of how awesome this truck was back in its day. So as you know, Evil Knievel gained fame in the 1960s and became an American legend for his daredevil jumps. His nationally televised motorcycle jumps, including his attempt to jump the Snake River Canyon in Twin Falls, Idaho, represented four of the 20 most watched sports events in history. So here's the truck now. It's uh, Permanently displayed in Topeka, Kansas at the Evil Knievel Museum. And that was just another shot of the truck before it was restored. And here's the inside of the interior. So they did a, an ex, just a marvelous job on restoring this truck. I, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to definitely go to the museum one day and uh, just see all the, 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 all the exhibits. I'll probably end up spending three hours there. So... And of course, here's the uh, Snake River Canyon uh, jump decal on the side of the truck. And then here's more shots of uh, Big Red. So it's just really cool to see this truck is back. So finding the uh, Big Red Mack truck was definitely a big key in the completion of uh, Evil Knievel's legacy. And I'm so glad they found it and restored it because it was definitely a big part of Evil's show. And the truck was just truly amazing when you saw it. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching another one of my videos. And uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. And take care and I'll have more videos like this one. Thank you.